Okay, so today we have this ECI Energy Concepts Inc. Um, solid state DC oscilloscope. And this has been kicking around oh for over 10 years down in my parents' basement. And it was picked up from the um, trash bin when I was in high school. And there's a good reason why. Because it don't work. <laughs> um, take a quick look at it. On the back of it, it's missing the CRT cover. Um, the top cover was missing its screws. Um, it does power up to an extent. You get a blob on the screen that you really can't adjust or move around, and that's it. And then it dies after about five minutes. Um, I have seen these going for about $30, $40 on eBay. Um, I put this one on eBay for $15 bucks and I was offered 5 for it. And I figured, you know what, I can make better use out of the case than to waste my time packing it and shipping it for a lousy 5 bucks. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a teardown video. Um, I've started by removing the remainder of the screws and they're a like a half-assed security screw and it's they're not even machine thread they're just sheet metal screws uh, okay so I already have the knobs loose so we can pull those out off um the knobs are actually nice they're a real heavy solid Bakelite knob um, as far as the control feels go, I can't say too much positive about that. They're very um, scratchy feel, cheap feel to the um, to the controls. Just plain old slide switches for, and they're not even good slide switches either. They're very very rough. Um, single BNC jack just some real cheap banana plugs there um, anti-stigmatism control and like I said the cover is missing there's supposed to be a cover on the back here but what I'm going to be doing with this is using the case of it for my power supply that I'm building I was going to be using the old Hickok cathode ray oscillograph case for that but it's a little too big. This is a little bit more compact and I should be able to fit everything in here. The only reason why I was thinking of... Um, we'll get to that when I do the video on the power supply. Anyway, let's pull the cover off and look inside. Whoops. Okay. There's not much in here at all um, okay of course on this side we have the tube and a bunch of cobwebs and gunk but the tube which appears to be an unknown type because the sticker appears to have come off that is as far as it's a deflection tube or a uh, um, electrostatic deflection tube instead of electromagnetic there's no big yoke coil on it and so we're gonna save that possibly use that for other projects I still have the one from the Hickok over there too and on the other side here I'm running over something on the other side of the bench oh well we have the board that's it. I don't know when this is from. I believe they're from the late 70s. The electronics in it looks like it's 60s. I mean, paper caps, which are probably shot, which is probably why it doesn't work. Looks like a bulging electrolytic down in, in there somewhere, which we'll pull out. But yeah, let's start by taking this cover off here from the screen if these are even real screws. Yeah, they are. They're, but okay, maybe they're just decoration or something. Who knows? Oh, 
that's a nice thick lens there and that there we go oh and and a nice thick blue lens now with a with a lens that thick you would think they would have had it lit or something so that the scale lights up but no no they they did not go out at all on this thing uh, we'll save these put those over there we might be able to use that for something all right start disconnecting things now I am my side cutters are somewhere else I think they're upstairs somewhere and I don't really feel like getting them looking for them and going upstairs at the moment so anything that needs to be cut yeah and this is this is just a like even the connections in here this thing looks like it was a kit or something which I don't know maybe it was at some point it like a an electronics kit but like an actual like you'd have to build the thing not a piece of kit but <laughs> take this control out that's simple enough see little things like this potentiometers and whatever can be saved main board's probably just going to be scrapped I'm trying to get the connector off the CRT tube without breaking the CRT tube but oh well just snip the wires oh, these things suck too oh, get the little pliers out and that's not even in the shot pardon the video quality and probably the audio quality because at the moment I have no camera and that is my that looks like everything oh wow from the looks of it it gets the high voltage from for the CRT directly from the transformer <laughs> all right and we'll undo all our other controls from the front then we should be able to rip the board out I don't even know if I'm even going to bother keeping the potentiometers because they're maybe some of these um, concentric switches which will be neat plus it's got the knobs I'm not going to be able to use concentric knobs for much anything else except for a car radio um, now that one's got something leaking out of it looks like somebody sprayed lubricant or cleaner in that at some point to try to fix something like I said all these connect the, the connectors all feel or switches all feel cheap and scratchy like there's no there's no smooth or real rough I mean compared to okay so my camera shut off and I think I was uh, BSing too much and because this thing only records eight minutes and 30 seconds at a time um, anyway I'm not sure if we saw in the last part of the video if pulling out the board or not but this is the main board got a couple trim pots down here uh, two microfarad um, paper cap up here a couple more paper caps I mean this is this is the kind of stuff you find in like antique radios I'm not sure when this scope is from but it's it's old we've got socketed transistors over here that I can just pull right out which is fairly odd I don't know if that's because that's a common thing to blow or what but um, yeah I, I'm still thinking this thing looks looks by all means like it was a kit like you you build it 
from scratch, or not from scratch, but from a kit. Like the, the board comes pre-made and the majority of the components in are in there and then you stick a few in yourself and plug everything together. Um, mm, cosmic capacitors. I bet they'd make a cosmic bang when they fail. Um, well, these are interesting little transistors there with their legs sticking up in the air. I wonder if those are tuned to specific frequencies or what that's or what the reason for that is. I don't have a service manual or anything for that, but this is pretty much useless. I think I'll take those caps out of there and just save one of them and hang it up on the wall or something just because it's a cosmic capacitor. Anyway, throw that off to the side over here. Don't need that. Uh, let's get the CRT out of here. Looks as though the only thing really holding it in place is these two screws on this little bracket back here. Which are, yep, just sheet metal screws. Yep, and it slides right out. And there we go. Nice deflection type CRT tube. And it's got a 12 stamped on it. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, here's the sticker from the CRT, a Hitachi 5DEP31, which I could probably use that for something. Not sure what at the moment, but it would be something cool. Set that off to the side. Now all we pretty much have left in here is the transformer. Get the turntable out of the way. And then we just have to take out the um, the rest of the controls on the front. <laughs> There's not even lock washers or anything on these screws. Most of them, anyway. Surprised that the thing hasn't fallen apart before it quit working. But again, like I said, pretty sure it was some kind of kit. Part of a kit or a school built thing. Transformers decent. I mean it did work so I'm assuming it's still good. The Hickok scope was scrapped because the transformer was shorted. Not easy finding the screw on the wrong side of the transformer. And this transformer would also be of use in whatever project I decide to do with that CRT because, oh, they did have lock washers on them. A little terminal block can be saved. It's a nice fuse holder there at least. Expecting the transform. Oh, the transformer can't go boom because it's resting on that. All right, and there are no markings whatsoever on this transformer. No voltage output ratings or anything. Um, three zero five two zero one zero zero five four zero six. But these two green wires were going directly to the CRT which I'm assuming would be the high voltage for the CRT 
and these wires were going elsewhere on the board. Black is the power in, so that will be saved. Alrighty. Now let's see if we can get these cheapy banana plugs out of here. And one of them doesn't even have a nut holding it in. And now this front panel should come all oh, the power light goes into that too. Ah crap. I wanted to save that. Because that is a neon. I think it just pushes in there, doesn't it? Looks like it. Actually, I think the lamp just pushes into the holder from what it looks like. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Stiff plastic. Alright, and there's our panel off. Sort of. Still something connected. Alright. Now, why they... That's kind of dumb that they screwed the BNC connectors through, or they mounted them on here and mounted them on the main frame. They mounted the, B, the banana jacks on there and on the front of the actual housing as well. Uh, unless that was just to help hold the thing together. Stink bug, long dead, yuck. Get out of there. Terminal blocks we save. Jumper wiring I could say we save, but who knows how good this stuff is anymore. Most of it feels pretty stiff. Wow, that's a crappy cord. That's like... Actually, I think the ground line is heavier gauge than the main wiring. Look at that. Pathetic. Although, I mean, I, I doubt this thing draws very much power. What's it say on here? 20 watts. Yeah. Definitely not going to be sufficient for a power supply.
couple nice terminal strips, possibly some potentiometers if they're any good. Obviously any capacitors or anything like that are going to be garbage other than just for show. And a cool CRT and a nice power transformer. But there we go. ECI solid state DC oscilloscope. I don't even know what model number this thing is. Just has a part number 3500. Oh well. Thanks for watching.